What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. So today we're gonna to be showing you the difference between HIT versus LIST and which one is actually better for overall fat loss. So you hear these terms thrown around a lot and some of you may not even know what it means, but basically HIT stands for high intensity interval training. And typically that involves about five to 20 minutes of work with about 30 seconds on of like really intense work followed by anywhere between 30 seconds to maybe two minutes of kind of lower intensity state. I know a lot of times people enjoy 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, but that's what HIT is. So one of the biggest myths within this, I find a lot of people truly enjoy HIT way more because they believe there's a massive afterburn effect where they just end up burning calories the entire day and the next day because they've done high intensity interval training. This has been disproven. Of course, there is still that afterburn effect, but this isn't something you should use to you know base your judgment of HIT versus LIS. Now there are so many different benefits of doing HIT. It can be way less boring. As you can see on the screen here, we're doing so many different fun, active things that you can do very quickly. And that's the second benefit is that it can be done in a short burst of time. If you have five minutes, if you have 10 minutes, 20 minutes, you can get it done versus low intensity, which might take you anywhere between 30 minutes and one hour. And then last but not least, you'll also just feel like you're working harder. You may make better eating decisions. You may just be more fired up and just excited about your journey from doing this. And I do definitely see so many different benefits from HIT, and those are the main things. But the biggest issue and the common mistake is a lot of people are already training super hard, they're focused on strength training, they're in a calorie deficit, and it does beat up your body a lot. It's hard to recover, so you have to use this wisely. It's definitely an amazing thing to utilize, but you know, work it into your training regimen, and you know, a lot of times don't do it every single day because it will hurt. So now that you know all about HIT from my boy KG, I'm gonna let you know a little bit more about LIST, which is low intensity steady state cardio. And as you'll see from this video, you really need to make a decision as to what's gonna work best for you. And just know it doesn't have to be, I can only do this one, not the other. You know, perhaps if you have a lighter training day, you could utilize the benefits of HIT, but if you're more gas and more tired, you could use the benefits of LIST. So let's go over what LIST is real quick. It is low intensity steady state cardio. Think walking, think really slow biking, think anything that isn't really driving that heart rate up super high. Now the downfall of this is very often you're gonna to have to do it for longer than you will hit. For five minutes of hit, I can burn some serious calories, get my heart rate way up, but if I'm going on a walk, it might take me a little bit longer, actually a lot longer, to get the same desired effect. But once again, this really depends on your goals, and there's trade-offs to both, because the list is gonna be more low impact on your joints, it's gonna require less focus and attention. For instance, I could be on the treadmill watching Netflix very peacefully, where hit, I'm gonna be out of breath and dying. Um, so once again, it really does come down to what you like and what you have time for. So you need to say what works best for my situation today, or for my program in general, and that's how you can make a decision as to what is better. Then again, if your goal is to burn as many calories as possible and you have unlimited work, uh, work ethic, go for the hit. You know, if you're someone who just would prefer to do it slow and steady, go on a jog versus a sprint, utilize the list. So make this decision for yourself. You have all the info available. Um, once again, mix different types of cardio, make it fun, try different sports, different activities. You'll learn to love it and you'll make it as fun as it can physically be. Hopefully this video helped. Smash the like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel for other incredible content. And as always, if you want to get the best online coaching in the world and have someone to guide you through this process, someone who has over 20 million YouTube views, millions of podcast listens, and has now had over a thousand transformations, click that first link in the description down below and I would love to help you out. Peace.